Hello and welcome to my first unboxing video. Forgive the uh, potato-ness of using phone camera. I don't have professional quality equipment. And I'm still newish to using YouTube as a uh, maker or whatever. Anyways, uh, I am going to be building a gaming desk for myself and I will be making a video of how to do that. First step, uh, I decided with uh, a standing desk and I got it from this company called Unico. That box weighs over 90 pounds so I am literally too lazy to flip this over. One, actually open the box. Always remember to cut away from you. I don't know how many people I see always cutting towards themselves, but this is not a great knife for this job. Mm. So far, looks pretty well packaged. Oh. Hmm. Maybe open the box from the top next time. But what's done is done. An interesting styrofoam. I might keep that for another project. Anywho, here are the legs. Here's the control board. Nice and clicky buttons. I decided I didn't want to get a desk that uh, had like the screen and all that stuff. I like clicky buttons. Because then you're sure if you click them or not. Got, oh! They use a Ethernet cable or RJ... Ah, oh, shoot, 35? Interesting. But, you know, useful. More styrofoam. The legs. Ah, uh, Our feet. Mounting hardware, all that stuff, just kind of shoved in a bag. I do like the fact that they are labeled in individual bags inside. I assume that the instructions will be a lot easier with that. This is good. This is good. And the motors are pre-built into the legs. Again, I enjoy the packaging. Discovered a, another layer, which this would have been the top if I was an idiot. I found the motors and basically the heaviest parts of the desk. I chose this desk specifically because it had two motors and it is rated for 269 pounds. I wanted something that was real heavy duty so it would last me. It also has anti-collision control. Ah, power cable. We will need that absolutely last. It also has overheat protection. Assembly instructions. The one thing that nobody ever reads. Guess what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to read these. I don't know why people don't do this. Grab the control box, which is the brain of the whole thing. And the uh, support bar that goes crosswise. I wanted to note that it doesn't say anywhere on the website, or other websites that I've come across, duty cycle, 2 minutes on, 18 minutes off. That means these motors, as far as I can figure, uh, require you to not play with the desk. You know, use it as intended because the motors will get warm. Just like with starter motors on vehicles, people do not understand that when you use a starter motor for more than 30 seconds, 
you are damaging it and it takes two minutes to cool down. My trombone. Okay, now I've got the assembly instructions and I'm done screwing around with everything else. Uh, I also chose this desk. I wanted to note that I always specifically wanted something that could go 70 inches. You can buy other legs for smaller desks and they will be cheaper. I need to go overboard on everything, which you will find out later in this video. Anyways, instructions are not a book type of thing. I noticed that within it very here, everything in here, the tools are not provided. It says included here, but I have yet to find those. Oh, wait, you know what? Those are probably in the bag of parts. Anyways, through the magic of editing, I'm going to go through all these, make sure I've got all these parts. Always be sure to do that. Uh, especially when you deal with things like IKEA furniture. You definitely want to know. Anyways, I'm not going to read this all to you. It's pretty standard stuff. Use liability, basically saying, uh, they're... You can't sue them if you're an idiot. And here's the instruction manual. You can download PDFs from their uh, website. I will try to leave the link in the description. But it's pretty straightforward. Oh, no obstacles underneath the desk. Ah. But you have a thing that turns it off when there's an obstacle in the way. Hmm. Specifications, in case you wanted to know that. That is the wrong weight capacity. Wow! At this time, I'd like to note that I emailed the manufacturer and they got back to me. I'd recommend going to their website and downloading the instruction manual PDF. They are fully aware that the wrong instructions are included. So you'll also notice some other discrepancies. The maximum weight of this desk or weight capacity is 264 pounds. The maximum height is 50 inches and the minimum height is 24 inches. I'm sorry for this error. I didn't catch it until much later. So I'll start just with leveling four memory presets. Yay! I'm going to start building. Okay. Um, well, I don't even know what to say. Not sure if uh, I know how to read instructions, because I don't know if I'm too stupid, but, you know, me, I'm thinking two legs, there's two of them, there's two feet, this is all noise attenuation pads. I have zero of those. I didn't miss that part. I got the two cables, I got the power cord, got the switch. Hardware, this is it. I'm just going to kind of go with it and see how far I can get before I start a ruckus. Remember the bag of hardware. It's empty. It's all laying out here. All nice and neat for you to see. Machine screws. P11. P11. I would think that would mean 14 of those. That's not 14. 2, 4, 6, 8. Okay. P12 machine screws, 10. P12, 5, 10, 15, 20. Wood screws, I'm 16, that's uh, P13. P13, 5, oops, I even miscounted there. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. Twelve screws. Not sixteen. Machine screws times forty. God, I hope that's length. 
because I have four. I so hope that's length, not how many. But this confuses me even more because if that's somehow length, P15, cable clips. That's not 15. This, the feet aren't even on the list. I don't even know what to say. Well, they got this right. Four switch. Like, not even on the parts list here. Well, I'm going to wing it. See how far I get. First step that it has is you take the bars out of this thing. Um, let me show you that real quick. You just slip this out of there. Like so, you know, and you use that part right there. Anywho, um, basically it says use the Allen wrench, put these screws in here. Um, I am using a electric screwdriver because why not? Don't drop the screws in there. We. I'll get that later. Wow, that's uh, difficult to do with one hand. Let's see if I drop this one. Yep. I'm a pro. You see this? Look at that. First try. Yeah, totally. Got it. Anyways, just screw it in. Um, screw it in straight. And when you bottom out, unscrew it. You want these screws to be lo loose because things are going to need to flex later. Tighten things up later. Anyways, I'm going to flip this around. And I'm going to do the other leg. Magic of editing. Don't have to wait for me. Well, hopefully that's some relief. I am on the next step. And it says assert these screws, basically into this bracket into this yeah prop one of the legs up on you know like a triangle yay shapes anyways in this picture they're using four screws because there's two in the end there's no screw holes here so i am hoping and praying that this hardware is correct and the instructions are wrong because the instructions are for multiple discs. Here's hoping. One thing I would recommend doing, uh, I've been building things randomly for years. With a lot of new stuff, uh, what I would do is before you put your brackets on and you do all that, this screw, the first time I tried it, didn't really want to go in. Now it's going in just fine. All I did was just take the screw, run it in a little bit, get the threads nice and cleaned up. I don't want to be cross-threading this thing. Apparently these are very, very important screws, you know? Especially since I just discovered that the bracket over here goes on like so, so you can't see the screws and it covers up the other screw holes, so yay! I don't need those screws right here I hope. Well here's a problem I run into couldn't get anything to work the screw goes in here uh, the camera focuses on the right thing, no no there we go. Anyway, screw goes in here. Please focus on the right thing. There we go. So the screw goes in here, right? What is that? This whole thing is some sort of 
Hang on, let me get some light in here. It is a weld that crushed and what it's doing is when you screw into it, it just, the whole thing spins. Oops, hang on, there we go. The whole thing. That's, that's, that's not right. And it's not even straight. <sighs> well, this is a predicament. Okay. Your best friend and added tool needed to this instruction list needs to be nothing more than 3-in-1 oil. Uh, I spent a good while doing this. I ended up killing the battery on my screwdriver. Basically, I put oil on the screws. I held it very tightly. There are still marks on my finger, and it's been like 20 minutes later. You can kind of see the circles from when I was trying to hold that thing right there to stop it from turning. What I ended up doing is putting a little bit of oil in the screws and using this, torquing it in, backing it off. Torquing it in, a little bit more, backing it off, and just working, working, working. Eventually, I did get it. Hopefully this is not a problem later. There is no gap in between these two pieces of metal. These ones I pre-oiled before I even tried this. They went in a lot easier. Very much happy. There is a gap though. I'm going to find out if that's important or not later, but since these screw holes here are meant for the actual tabletop of the desk, I'm not really concerned about that gap because nobody's going to see it. I still have access to the motors via this flip and plastic cover, so that way if I ever need to do some of the motors, I take the desk off. I have access to the motor. Never have to touch this again. If I wanted Ikea, I would have bought Ikea. On to the next step. I have to put the rails in the center and this thing will be standing up slightly. Slightly less frustrated. This step was put those rails in. Not hard. I did notice there was some holes in the end of the rails. Not sure if that matters. Also, I noticed that uh, the sound dampening things that they didn't include in here, uh, I may have mentioned it before, I don't know. These are rubber, and these are the uh, holes that go into the uh, tabletop. So, maybe I don't need them. Let's hope. Okay, day two of this project. I had to stop last night because... Um, Sorry, I'm forgetful. Uh, the screws that go into the legs here, I never even received them. So, I made a trip down to Lowe's. Got the 6M machine screws. I got these ones. Uh, the, those are 40 millimeters. Now, they emailed me and told me to use their instructions that they get from the website because they are aware these instructions are outdated. These are old. The only difference is, is that's supposed to be six. I only got five. Uh, four of those screws uh, I believe 16 is correct that is supposed to be 20 I did get 20 uh, okay now I'm forgetting which one's which but in either case uh, all of this pretty much stayed the same what they added in was a set of uh, they told me about the screws that go into the control box and it had eight M6 by 14 millimeter machine screws uh, yeah eight of those uh, I forget if I have these or not but these don't work 
if that's what that is, 14 millimeters. I don't know, done trying. Now what I, the other difference in the instructions was they did confirm the soundproofing pads are not part of the build. The build has these rubber rings and all these spots that are pre-installed, so you don't need those. And this part here. These two screws on the outside going in there, these have the holes, but that bracket right there does not have the holes. The new update instructions confirms that those do not have the holes. Now what I really, really want to stress and point out, and I told the manufacturer about this, is down here. All this relatively somewhat the same except the uh, the base base width is a little bit shorter and the height goes down to 23 and up to uh, I think it was 49 so almost right there 150 but the part I'm concerned about is this weight capacity 528 pounds the updated instructions confirm what the website says that the desk handles 200 and 64 pounds. Okay, installing the legs is pretty straightforward. You got these four holes right here. One, two, three, four, four. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Anyways, take the screws, put the leg on, put the screws in the holes. Sorry for constant edits, but it's kind of hard to hold a camera manually, and I'm not making the same mistake again. That screw was a pain. I'm oiling all this just to get screws in. It went in okay and then it binded a little bit. It's not perfect, but whatever. Again, this is really straightforward. You just basically to make it even, you need to tighten in a cross pattern. Yeah, this one's binding again. Okay. I'm not putting a lot of torque on these. I'm not that strong. This screwdriver is not also strong. You see? The head's not even all the way down. And then go around and just, well, I'm not listening to my own instructions of tighten them in an X pattern, but you get the general idea. At least I think, I, I don't know, video, video editing, I'll figure it out. Just all doing this uh, with my potato camera phone. Eventually I'll be a professional. Anyways, after that, I got bored last night and I installed these feet without recording it but it's pretty darn simple you put this in there it's usually the last step go ahead and you know I wouldn't make them too tight because they're just feet and they're designed to level the desk out after you're, you're all done now that is uh that's it for right now. I know I've got the control box, the switch to all install. Um, all these screws here are for locking down the center bar once you get the desk extended to the length that you want as such. But uh, for right now, Looking pretty nice. Okay, now I've got the control box. I wanted to point out this is a six pin. It's keyed. Kind of looks like the video card power supply. Pretty simple. You just plug it in here. There's going to be two slots. And then you got the Ethernet port, which goes to the controller. 
and then the power cable. Easy peasy. Of course, you're going to mount this to a desk. I mean, uh, I'm not ready for that yet. All right, I have plugged it all in. I plugged it into the wall. Focus. Mm. Whatever. Anyways, it makes beep noises. And it is at 24 and a half inches. Hooray! Of course, all this stuff would be mounted, but you know. The problems I've had so far, I wanted to make sure everything worked. So, let's see if it catches on fire. Beam me up. Oh. Oh, that sounds beautiful. Mental note. Tie things down. All right, we made it to 36 inches before everything just went wrong. Let's go some more. Oh. Oh, it's pretty. Ah! I see you. I see you, your dirty, dirty little cord. Don't, 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 don't you dare. Don't you give me, give it to me. There we go. We're going to put this up here. Yes, there we go. You behave. I want my viewers to enjoy this as much as I am. <laughs> Fifty inches! And boy, is it. Oh, wow. Oh. That, that's, that, that's time for a nap. Okay. Test it up and down functions. It's back down at 24 inches. Let's test out memory. I pushed the number four. Look at her go. Day, Domino's. I don't know Latin. If it's that's not obvious. Oh. Anyways, thank you. Still, make sure you ship out the right instructions. <clears throat> Unico. Next video, I'll have it all put together. Yay! Thank you for watching my unboxing video for the Unico Desk Legs. It might also be pronounced Uniku. I'm not sure. Your own judgment there. Link in the description how you get your own. I am Lord Infinite. I hope you found this video very informative.